Jesus Christ. There it is. <laughs> Lanayru Mining Facility. Oh yeah, this boss. Oh man, I like this boss actually. Not as good as the second one, but still a decent boss. Get off me, you scorpion bastard. These were the original rad scorpions. Even though Fallout, uh, the first Fallout game came out way before uh, Skyward Sword. And this one right here. I also find it funny how, like, if you say, like, anything bad about those kinds of streamers, you it, you get instant shit from their communities. Oh, yeah, of course you're always gonna get that shit. And then they kind of prove their point, or your point, by themselves. I mean, isn't that what they always do, but, like, holy fuck. I mean, it's pretty fucked up anyways. Holy shit, is that a normal girl? No way. Yeah, it's a normal girl just chatting. She doesn't have cleavage. She has a good camera. She's not showing anything. She's not. She doesn't have any any. And she's embracing the uh, the tier three sub uh, meme. Maybe that's her tactic, to look like a normal girl so people can tier three sub to her. It's a different kind of simp that she's going after. The base simp. <laughs> Running around at the speed of sound. <laughs> Rolling around at the speed of Roll up oh, wait. Ah, uh, there we go. Another negligent uh, okay. Shit. I'm all the way back here. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Jesus Christ, stop. Rolling up What are you fucking Sonic? I mean, do you see how fast I was going? I was going to supersonic speed there. Jesus Christ. Got the door. Um, boxes. Oh my god, I hate those enemies. Not bad if you know, you just spam. I mean, you can just... Not spam it and do it in one single hit instead of getting hit three times. I must have a full lot again. There we go. Link is a menace. He breaks any pot that he sees. He also gives me goop. Gross. I almost unintentionally dodged that person. Jesus Christ. Um. And up. And through the door. Into, I think, what is a mini boss arena, right? Lock? No. Hmm. Well, That's in other news, area. I guess. Instead of titty streamers, we're gonna watch the world of VTubers for a moment. I still... Like, what do you think... What kind of game would make them be addicted? Up to this point, when already uh, Kiryu Koka got uh, graduated, so Ark is no longer a, you mean she no got longer fired? a thing. Uh... Yeah, she got fired, basically. So, bas so Ark is no longer a thing, because the girl that used to stream it no longer... Can no longer stream it. And Apex streams are so low on views. So Amelia Watson. 
No, what type of game... Okay, what type of game do you think they're gonna get uh, obsessed with? Hmm. Just I mean, give it a random guess. Anything that's made for the casual audience. Or like Apex? a rage game. Apex? Not Apex. If you if you rage at Apex, you're, there's something wrong with you. Why? It's just it's a game that's made to be competitive. If you get really mad in competitive scenes, you really should look back on your life and just. I mean, what about what about Rainbow Six Siege then? I mean, I pretty much you pretty much like the game. I think for the first time that you played it with me, it was decent. But again, I don't really play a lot of shooters. Because I know how my brothers get when they play any competitive game, and I don't want to be like that. They get super toxic. Damn, dude. Toxic? What do I do here again? There's a reason why there's a bomb up there. But, like, okay. So now I have to hit it's one not... of those things. I'm gonna give you this one. It is an FPS game, but it's not multiplayer. It's a call. Well. Call of Duty is more multiplayer than story based nowadays. So if it like Outer Worlds, Fallout nope. 76, well that's no, they, multiplayer. They, they haven't. Put, they have. They, they. I don't think they even know Fallout. Instead, uh, I don't think they think they're allowed. To, well, I was gonna say I don't really think they're probably even allowed to really play Fallout. I mean, they they should be able to, right? The main the main thing is uh against China, so. No, and that's, but and that's the main company. They're Chinese. Wait, Bethesda? No. Hollow Life. Oh, yeah. Shit. I forgot about that. So they can't play it. Why not? The, the China it's an, really it's an, it's, Bethesda? It's anti-Chinese. And you know what the Chinese government is. They're pro-Chinese. Yeah, but I don't remember Fallout 4 talking about anti-communism. Besides that last part with crime. Other than that, they don't talk bad about Chinese people in the game. Wait, hold on a second. Am I just... Am I... I think I actually had to blow that up. I think I was just... Oh my god, how can yeah. you... Oh my god, dude. I was confusing this area with a different one. Open up the chest. You're only gonna give me a monster drop, though. Or rupees. Oh no, it's a key! But where do I use the key now? Oh, there's a locked door in the Furby's room. Still can't believe that a single joke called Do you like fish sticks? can cause this kind of fucking episode. Holy shit. You're still okay. watching South Park in the background? Yeah. But like... What shoot? Okay, what shoot like are they playing? Okay, just before I ask, answer that. Do you like fish sti fish sticks? Of course I do. Then you're a, you're a gay fish. <laughs> Pop him. There we go. Did you get the choke? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's so dumb. Uh, so, answering to your question, they're pl they're getting uh, Dakota started playing started playing Subnautica, right? Subnautica. Yeah. Of above every every game, any game that you could have played, you picked you picked Subnautica. I let's play the forest. Like, I don't know. I mean, the forest is not that great. The forest is not that. The story that. is pretty interesting, but the gameplay leading up to it is pretty bad. Yeah, it's just it like not. Honestly, it's not. That's not even my my type of game. I do like fucking rogue uh Well, survival, RPG survival games, but like, I don't think the forest implements it that well. I mean, I think there's probably better ways to uh, to implement it. But then again, I'm not that much fan of it. 
There we go. I realized that, or I remembered that I can break the, the wooden boxes. I didn't get stuck on that room for so long. Hit the switch. And I mean, what do you think this... of the Nautica, though? You know, you know my fears about uh, water in video games. So you know my answer. You don't like it? I don't. I honestly don't remember your opinion about that. I'm traumatized by water in video games from Banjo uh, Kazooie. Why? The fucking. The shark in fucking Treasure Trove Cove. Really? The fuck you over is so much? Yeah. So you can't look at it? Or what the fuck? I just. When there's a game with water enemies, it's just. It's hard. What the fuck? Yeah, it's pretty I mean, bad. I, I mean, I do kind of get that, but like, then again. I mean, Subnautica, Subnautica wasn't that bad, but like, it does have a lot of bad shit. I mean, I've been following it since the early access part, since it was a fucking while ago, I remember now. Otherwise, the story seems interesting. The whole idea of exploring the... Oh, that didn't do anything. I'm oh yeah, I forgot you actually had to... Hold on. Can I do this again? Here we go. Here we go. That's how you beat those enemies again. So what were you saying? You were saying something about- you were saying something about Subnautica. Oh yeah, I've been following it since um, since early access. Mhm. Mm so I've pretty much uh, been following it since it, I think since they introduced the uh, the sea moth. You know the uh, the half. Yeah, well, I know what you're talking well, the, about. The middle ass ship ship, not the uh, not the submarine, the other one, the little small boy. Yeah, the, the jet propulsion thing that you grab onto. Yeah, exactly. So... I pretty much know about it. But like, holy fuck. Come on, oh, there go. It was a while since I, start, since I stopped watching the game. I think it, I stopped watching when they started adding the uh, the ending story. Mm -hmm. you, you know that when uh, when they didn't implement the whole big ass fish and all that. Yeah, the the end of the story. How? Yeah, yeah I, I think that's yeah. I think that's when I stopped caring about the game. I mean, it does look better right now, as it is right now. But like, dude, the game misses a lot of the goals. I mean, I do get why. Japanese people get impressed by the game because it is something new, but like, holy fuck, dude, it's not that great. <laughs> is it really something new, though? I mean, for them, it is. I mean, you gotta understand that most of most of the people out there do not fucking most of the Japanese people out there do not listen to the uh, to the same internet we do. Oh, I know. I mean, you just have but to I mean, remember, fucking Japanese I mean, like, people are encapsulated in there. But is it, like, is is it really a surprise that uh, for a game like that that you know exists, or whatever I mean, you were talking about? I completely spaced out now. I don't even remember what we were talking about. Subnautica. Well, uh, I know about Subnautica, but being what impressed. You... Oh yeah, impressed. Okay, that's the word. I mean. They got they 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 were impressed by Undertale. What makes you think of that? That makes you think on how well Japs do not. I mean, either your game, either you're in the developer and Jap and Jap in Japan, 
then that means that you're probably gonna be stuck making RPGs or horror games. Because there's no other shit that you can do that, well, in this case, will give you a, an innovative idea. Or what do you think? I, th I, I think, so the main thing is, uh, the Western and the Eastern audiences, uh, the general culture in video games is, is like completely weird, in my opinion. Like, the best RPGs come out of, uh, Japan and the best kind of like, I guess the best more like casual oriented, uh, gaming experiences come out of the West. I mean, so like people play, people play the RPGs for, or from Japan and then, or the Western audiences only play like, the vast majority of them play, uh, uh, what was I talking about? JRPGs while a lot of the Eastern, uh, audiences usually start playing Western, uh, casual games. I mean, but like, this is the weird thing, right? There's a lot of games, Japanese games, exactly RPGs, that made it here, but when you take into account that all the games that were sold here, for example, let's say Halo. Mm -hmm. Halo reached a big ass audience. Holy oh, yeah. shit. It, yeah, and uh Japan, but Japan doesn't really have they don't really flopped. make first person shooters. Yeah, exactly. But in Japan that shit flopped real hard. So no Japanese developer even tries to make a first person shooter type of game. Out yeah, of fear exactly. of not making money. Yeah, fucking Quake. Just stick, just stick fucking Quake, which is a... I don't remember if it was... The, well, the Western well. people cannot cannot make a good RPG while the uh, the Eastern people cannot make a good uh, first-person shooter. I mean, I wouldn't call it, I wouldn't call it that restrictive. Well, with that, with those restrictive assessments, I would say it more into the terms. If you like RPGs and you like numbers, you want to play a, J, a JRPG. If not, you're, you can just play a normal RPG, like Witcher, and all that. But if you like, for example, because I think Apex is developed by, uh, what is it, American, again. right? Huh? I think Apex is designed by American people, right? Apex, that is EA. Oh, okay. So it is completely, uh, no Which 100 is why I will never American. Touch it. I mean, it's it's a hundred percent money grabbing American. I mean, every game is money grabbing at some point. Like, you don't have to fucking denounce it like it's the only one. I Fuck think EA. most of, most of the most of them are like that. Just take a just take a look at fucking what is it? Delta Rune. If you want to play the uh, the second chapter of the story, which means the rest of the story, basically, you are gonna have to pay. That's of course. That's the whole thing. That I don't complain because you're selling a game, right? But like, I mean, it's it's the same. Uh, well, not tactic because that sounds scummy, but it's the same thing that they did with uh, Life is Strange. I think that's the game. Or no, like the first, where the first, where the first episode was. Uh, it's free, but all the subsequent chapters are, uh, you have to pay for Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, for that one, it is like that. I think any kind of game that has in multiple stories, I think usually, well, other than one made by AAA companies. Hold on, give me a second. Sorry, I'm just getting, my throat's getting hoarse. But yeah, any episodic game other than stuff that comes out of, uh, big AAA companies, usually the first episode's up free so people can getting gross with the story and then they charge you for the other chapters. I mean, you can just do it like Total Games did in the past. Oh, wait, who? I mean... <laughs> fucking Telltale Games, man. Tales uh, from Borderlands. No, they... No, no, come on. Fuck Tales from Borderlands. I mean, I mean it with the Among... Uh, with, uh, with the Walking Dead and uh, the Wolf Among Us. 
and the Batman. And Batman, yeah, exactly. They did a demo of the story where they showed only like uh, the beginning and the middle of the game, right? Mm -hmm. They don't give you more and they, they tell you, oh, you like the story by your game. That's the basic shit. That's the basic premise. And I say, okay, that's fine. That's completely fine because you're showing a demo. Yeah. You're, you're not you're not telling people, oh, you wanna you wanna continue the story by your game. It's not shit like that. I mean, it's not like, oh hey, uh, I'm a new developer. I'm not gonna put out an, uh, a demo for my game. You're just gonna have to trust me that the game's good. And then they oh, lead you yeah, to play. That's... Then they lead you to play like multiple hours in the game, where the like the beginning is super like it hooks you. Uh, but then you, so... past past the point to where you can refund it on Steam, basically. Oh uh, yeah, it that's gets what... really bad reviews. That that is my answer. Like, what was the game? Ah, oh, fuck, I don't remember. Because I think if they you, if you have it if, on if... Little Witch Noveta, mm -hmm. he addressed the guy addressed it on a on the Patreon on the Patreon post. Saying I'm never going to make the game. Well, I'm never going to let you pass the 15 hours if you didn't like the game. You're supposed to give your basic premise within the first two hours. If you don't do that, then I don't know. That's instantly bad for me. Yeah, exactly. The guy said that if you want to play this game, you have five hours. I think that's yeah the limit, right? Or is it two hours now? I think it's two hours. I don't know if they increased or not, but I know it was two hours for the longest time. I think it is, but like, I think he, the guy told us, you can pass the first, uh, the first chapter of Little Witch Noveta in two hours. Because he doesn't want to, uh, he doesn't want to have unhappy customers to just say, oh, I don't like this fucking game, fuck you. And you made me play more than I, more when I can't breathe on, you know, like. When, when I don't, can no longer refund, so what the fuck, man? You know, that type of shit. I think that's pretty cool. When the uh, when the developer doesn't grab you by the balls and tells you to uh, to play the game until it's no longer refundable. Yeah. I mean, they did that with... Um, what was it? Holy shit. GTA 5. They did that with... They also did it with... I think it is a few, uh, one indie game developer that did it, that made a big ass tutorial that's, that passed the three hours. Mm -hmm. Which is fucking dumb. Come over here. Have at ye. I need to get him over the, uh, the pit. Why? Or from, out from under, over the pit. But yeah, I mean... Aha! Rupees! Going back to the fucking topic. Mm -hmm. The real fucking topic. I'm not getting sidetracked. Yeah. I think... Japan doesn't know how to make other video games. Because they didn't have the great minds from the past. Like, like we did. Like we did with... You know... All the arcade games that popped up throughout the years in here. Yeah. I feel like we gotta go and back they, and to they, and they, and the they never grew, part. They never grew up with the uh, with those kinds of games, so they never got inspired to make or grow up to want to make those types of games. Yeah, exactly. Like fucking some fancy dude. Fuck! I, did, I forgot that you could do that with the beam. You, that, you think that you can't do that with the beam, but you can. Yeah, you can. I completely I forgot forget. about that. Yeah, I forgot that you could do that. Because it, it makes oh. no sense. Oh, well. Well. Well, 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 well. I mean, they were testing the ground, so I cannot say anything about that. I still can't believe that game that has a better um, textures and. Uh... No, wait. Shouldn't be textures. Uh, a game that has higher resolution runs better than Breath of the Wild. Well, because uh, now they know the hardware. 
Yeah, exactly, which is dumb. But they will never they release a patch for Breath of the Wild. They should fucking release the patches for Breath of the Wild, but okay. Okay, so what was they say? Oh, yeah. We're, we're talking about Subnautica. No, but like... Japanese people never grew with, uh, with Bomb. Never grew with, uh, Electronic Arts in the good times. Or Blizzard. Good Blizzard. You know, the... I Not mean, Activision Blizzard. The good Blizzard. Yeah, the good Blizzard. Well, they weren't good that, that good back then. Well, the whole reason why they're like this now is because of the mass hiring that they did a while ago and, you know... Oh, uh, no, this... No, for what I understand, this shit has been going... It's been happening since 2013. Yeah. I'm talking about Good uh, Blizzard, and like, from, from, like, the 90s. Good Blizzard would be from 2000 to 2010. Because 2010, I think that was Diablo 3? No, wait, hold on. No, I'm 2010 was... I'm talking about Diablo, like the first Diablo game. Oh, shit. Then you're missing out, dude. Because the first Diablo is not the first. It's not one of the. Uh, the it's not one of the OG games, even though it is. It is old. It's not the OG one. You're I missing. Th I think I'm blind two. again. I think I'm blind. You're again. missing. Oh no. I've never played any of the Diablo games. I mean, you're missing two entries from from Blizzard. Is it inside the chest room? For example, you're missing Warcraft 1. Fuck, I forgot the other one. Oh, blob. Uh, yep, yeah, I think it's in the chest room. The one I'm missing. But dude, they never grew up with, uh, with those developers. And like... They never had that aura that, well, not aura, I guess, uh, face, that 90s face, where every programmer used to program video games. Not because they want, not because they, uh, they needed to, because, just because they wanted to. You know that geek side that everyone had, like, oh my god, man, are you gonna create a game that has a bright cast, that every time, it refreshes every time, every, every five frames, so you can have an AI shooting, you know, all that type of shit. <laughs> I'm in danger. Oh no. We're facing him. There we go. But yeah, dude, they're missing that part. They're they're missing that. Because how can be that Subnautica, that a game that for us is like trash tier. Not trash tier. Somebody... I would call it mediocre at best. I mean, that was just for uh, you know, exaggerating, but okay. Yeah, I know that it's shit and giggles, but still, it's mediocre at best. And there are other great games. Because, for example, Ocarina of Time, even though it hasn't aged well at all. The original N64 one, the, yeah, the Ocarina original. of Time 3D is pretty good. I mean, the controls are bad, the movement is bad, but the, but the uh, quality... Oh, for the graphics, it's pretty good. I'm so mad about Majora's Mask and how they nerfed the fucking Sora stuff. Oh, yeah. But yeah, dude, like, that shit... Let's open now. I mean, how can you not take inspiration from fucking Nintendo? I mean, I know, I get that the laws over there uh, told you to, that you cannot even fucking stream any game because of copyright laws. And I get the mentality of Japanese people of saying, "Oh, I'm not gonna do it because uh, I I would be a bother, uh, I would be uh, an annoyance to this to this developer." So, kind of just makes me say, Japanese people are wasting a big opportunity, and at the same time, we're losing uh, great developers. We're missing a lot of great developers from that. Hmm. 
I mean, just look at this part. I mean, just look at the FF14. Holy fuck. I mean, Square Enix is. Can I blow this? No. Square Enix is kind of going the way of the uh, the woke crowd, and that's kind of disappointing. Not really. Oh, wait. Actually, yeah, they're actually going for that, but. I don't remember if they're doing it for. What is it? For Kingdom Hearts? Or if, it, if they're doing it for Final Fantasy? Because so far, for what I understand, Final Fantasy is not going for that. And the game is actually getting pretty good. What are you trying to do? At this point, I don't even know anymore. Alright, dude. Then. Uh. I don't know what I'm doing. Or I'm rambling too much. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to sleep. It's All two right. AM. I have to wake up early. Oh god. It's no problem. You can go to bed. Fuck me, there's gonna be a needle in my arm tomorrow, man. Oh my god, it's just to fuck me, man. Wait, is there a line? Okay. My fucking ch microchip is gonna I'm gonna have a microchip in my bro in my blood bloodstream, man. What the fuck am I gonna really do? Legit faces is gonna know my location. You can't really see it on stream, I don't think. But there's an obvious line. Yeah, I see it. The fuck's that line about? Well, that's the uh, the division between the textures, between the floor and the moving sand, meaning a JPEG that doesn't have any depth. I guess I'll use the beetle to scout. Cause I know I had to do something here, but yeah. Anyways, go to bed. I think you have to go through the middle. I can't go through the middle yet, cause the, it's opening on the on the other side right there. Oh shit! I think this was the. Uh, you can walk through certain parts of the uh, of the sand. I think that was like a little a little labyrinth, but with. Uh, where you have to use the blower, the blower to know where's the sand and where's the uh, floor. Like, I mean, it's all the same here. Ah, uh, shit, then, uh, then I don't know. I just remember that there was something like that in that part. Oh. Cause that's what I kind of thought too, because I saw the line there and I was gonna walk it, but there's like, yeah, I can't make it. Hmm. Well, that's fucked. I don't. I honestly don't remember then. I don't remember either. That's why I was gonna go back here and try to see if I can dust something over here. Wouldn't you be able to go to the other side, to the uh, to the ladders? Maybe um, did you have to go there? Okay, wait, hold on. Oh, I see it. Fuck me, dude. The fucking map, man. Yeah, I fucking told you it was like that. So fucking stupid. Why do you have to- Why are you requiring the map? I mean... Why not? The map should be an optional thing that you could- that you could decide to pick up or not. It shouldn't be something required. Oh yeah, what else? Oh shit, new worlds. That is true. 